<sighs> come on, come on, I'm here, I'm here. As Juan Crookshank, your one and only Moose Swiftly speaker, checking in for a daily Moose Swiftly thought, giving you a perspective on teamwork that you will not get anywhere else. Common sense, folks, common sense. Using your motherfucking common sense. How valuable using your common sense is to everyone around you, whether it's the client, whether it's the boss, whether it's the family member, whether it's the, the one-time customer, two-time customer, whatever it is, using your common sense. If everyone used their common sense, we would fucking save the world from a lot of stupid ass mistakes, stupid ass penalties, and just things that could have been avoided had you use your common sense. So for those of you who don't know, I know you regular consumers know this already about me, but for the, anybody that's new to this world, I am a teacher at this brand new private school named the Center for Creative Education. And it started, I've been in business for 30 years. <clears throat> started out as just an after school program now they've merged and become and evolved into something called the foundation school and it runs just like a school that's k through five and you know the thing about startups in general not just not just the foundation school but startups in general there's always going to be progress always going to be things that us as entrepreneurs can align with what we do with what we with what they do and stuff like that and it's no different when it comes to me and what it is i'm all about right so Recently, I've been picked to be the bus driver, one of the bus drivers. There's several. It's one. I'm three. I'm one of three people that has the ability to drive the bus, but I'm I'm one of the two main people that do it uh, regularly because um, I've done it in the past at other schools, and you know, for the most part, I have a pretty clean driving record, no accidents, came on insurance, and all that kind of stuff, right? So <clears throat> I had a situation yesterday where we were dropping off a kid, one of the kids that we normally drop off. However, the person that we, because Wednesdays, we normally, I'm recording this by the way, Thursday, September 26, 2024. And normally on Wednesdays, we have a half day. So we leave school, we end school about an hour early. And you know, again, the dropout's obviously gonna affect the drop off schedule and you know, who was normally there and all that kind of stuff, right? So. We go there and we drop off a kid to his normal location. However, normally the person that picks him up, which is his father, he isn't there because of the time situation and all that kind of stuff, but he's given us permission to drop the kids off with a neighbor. That's something he signed off on and gave us permission to. Now, the neighbor that myself and the other, you know, the other adult that's in the, that's usually there with me, uh, the neighbor that we met wasn't there. So we had to drop them off by another neighbor. Now the kid is old enough to know, you know, who they met and stuff like that. However, we're never gonna be too careful and we don't know who this new person was. And that's the last thing that we're gonna do is drop off a kid without it being consented on by the adults. So here we go in a situation, do you, there we go right there. We're facing a situation. One of the, one of my favorite books and favorite authors is Mel Robbins. She talks about the five second rule. And in that five seconds, what kind of decisions can you make without going and calling the owner of the school or calling the boss and you know doing all this other stuff? do you do you buckle and then bring the kid back and cause the you know cause anger and cause disruption in the person's day and all that kind of stuff what do you do in situations like that is here's just like i, to, I told you at the beginning you use your common sense and i'm going to give you an example of what we did so you can use it whenever you face with a situation or face it with a dynamic like that right so what we did because you know obviously the kid the kid knew the person that was being dropped off we made the call to the father and the father said, yeah, they're gonna be dropped off by a neighbor. We drove up there and the person came out and you know, she knew he knew the kid and all that, but again, we weren't gonna be too, too safe. So we dropped the kids off and as we we're leaving, because we haven't met this lady, we don't know this lady who we're dropping this, these two kids off with, what I did was I took a picture. I took a picture right there before we pulled off. I took a picture with the kids and the the adult that we dropped them off with. And then we sent a, te I sent a text message with, uh, with the other driver, with the other adult that was on the bus and the father. And before we actually pulled off, we had him checked. We had him check the picture that he just received and confirm it and boom, we were good. We were able to pull off with no, you know, with no kind of mixed feelings and no difficulties and wasn't challenging because we got the confirmation from the father and fixed the problem directly. That's all simply common sense. That's all avoiding lawsuits. That's all making it so not only does it avoid lawsuits for the actual owner of the school, but obvious, also what it does is it builds that trust between ourselves and the parent and the kid and the person who 
who pick them up and ultimately it makes it so things move better and things move a whole lot smoother. Well, let me not say that. It ultimately makes it so myself and this other teacher, I don't want to put her name out there, but well, I, I will. She's, she's pretty cool. Uh, Miss Shea, myself and Miss Shea, I've been working with her for the past two years now. She's also in the thought leadership world too, by the way. And one of the things that it does for us is it makes it so we build trust among the people because we, they see how we handle situations right there on the spot. And that ultimately is what leads to promotion. It's using your common sense in situations like that. That's what leads to promotion. Not necessarily the, the fancy degrees that you have or you know the, the fancy titles and all that other kind of stuff that so many people spend a whole lot of money on the fancy certifications and all that other stuff. It's the how do you handle those situations in which you're faced to, in a, faced to have to use your common sense and figure out can you fix a problem now before it can become a huge problem. And I'll close you out with just kind of playing, playing the worst case scenario and say, let's say there was a situation where with that person that we dropped these kids off with wasn't confirmed or, you know, was the wrong one or whatever, you know, God forbid that's the wrong person. Imagine the father coming home and, you know, not knowing where his kids are, kids, you know, again, a lot of things would have, could have gone wrong. Thank God they didn't. But even if it was, we have the picture, we have things confirmed that can be confirmed. So you avoid those situations like that. I'm telling you right now, the world will be, the world will be a lot of problems that will be solved if everyone would simply just use the motherfucking common sense, like I said at the beginning. All right. All that being said, if you want a staff that actually thinks like that and uses their motherfucking common sense, go to makeyourmove.com. It's a one-stop shop. It's the one-stop, main, it's the main website to check out to dive deeper into all my work. It's a one-stop shop for your teamwork and your self-development needs. I would love to come in and conduct a professional development workshop for your staff so they're moving like that. So you can trust your staff and you know they won't make the boneheaded decisions and do things that will ultimately put you in jeopardy as a business owner and make you liable for a lot of fucked up shit. All right. So, again, let me give you the website one more time. Makeyamove.com. That's M-A-K-E-Y-A-M-O-V-E.com. One-stop shop for your teamwork and your self-development needs. As one Crookshank, your one and only moving, Move Swiftly speaker. Check it out. You guys continue to move swiftly. We will talk more soon.